the gang is nothing more than a, the, a group of friends who like to fish and have a good time. We said it one night and it kind of caught on. Other people started calling us the gang and it's just stuff. The gang is kind of just a little something just really started with a couple of us. And it was like we're coming down here every weekend and it's the same people every time. And then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. More and more people coming every weekend and coming to hang out with us. So we love it. Primary search is actually the term that you use in the fire department. Austin's in the fire department as well as myself. And when you're first on scene of a fire, you go to primary search. And they want to be the first one to the scene. Kind of translate the fish and the first one out to the spot. Some people don't wake up till 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. We get here at 3.30 in the morning. People are like, you do that for fun? But once you get out there and get things right, it's so worth it. <laughs> he told me to do it. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Got some awesome guys here, as, as you guys can tell. It's fun, always fun hanging out. Pretty welcoming to everyone, so. We, we love to give each other crap. Uh, we, whoever, whoever's reeling in the fish, I want to just get harped on. We like to put uh, chips in people's mouths while they're sleeping. That's always a good one. Uh, James had about four chips in his mouth the other day sleeping. Usually when somebody's sleeping, they're usually getting some trick played on them, like dumping water on them or just doing the bucket trick when it's slow, snapping a bucket on the end, sending it out real slowly, and then turning the clicker on, make them wind a bucket 300 yards to the boat. It all started with us just having fun on the weekends, so to get the recognition that we've gotten and to accomplish some of the things that we've accomplished, i got to give Austin a big thanks, and I can only see it getting better from here. The mantra is just go out there and try to get tight as best as you can, catch a bunch of fish and drink a bunch of beer on the way, obviously being safe the whole time, but uh, what we do with what we have, we're pretty successful at this point, and uh, hoping to learn a bunch more. We usually try to be very cool with everybody and uh, people people give us information and uh, teach us tricks and things like that and all resorts back to everybody being a you know a little family in the fishing community. I don't ever see our group uh, separating. We you know we do anything for each other and we just we got a fishing problem. It's a lifestyle. It's not just like the boat, it's like the whole fishing and then hanging out and have a good time. The environment is a lot more low-key and not intense. We're going to stick together, we're going to pound it out, we've got some checks and we're just going to keep getting bigger and better at what we do. They're all some of my best friends, we're all having fun, even when we're not catching any fish. Game for life. At the end of the day, everybody says, you know, I don't know why you guys tournament fish, I don't know why you do this, you just can't compete with those guys. That could be factual and they might have a little bit of an advantage on us, but at the end of the day it only takes one fish and he doesn't care what your boat looks like. So uh, I think it's more about, you know, who you have on your boat than what you're doing it in. So I really try not to compare it to, to anybody else other than what we're doing here in the slip. And as long as everybody's having fun and, you know, you're having fun on your boat, I always, always say is you do, you do your thing, we'll do ours and uh, don't mind us.